Martin. Yes, Chief. You know what I've heard. I have no idea, Chief. You think I'm stupid, birds? No, no, we, uh, we don't, Chief. What the ever-loving fuck do you think you're doing? Uh, Chief, if I may... Sonny, shut the fuck up! You're not on duty. You're suspended, if you remember. So I'm not your chief right now. Oh, we just stepped out for a coffee, Chief. Then we saw something suspicious at the Czar Club, and we investigated it, and, um... Suspicious, right? You investigated, right? Yes, sir. Do you take me for a fool, chickens? And what do you know about the burning ship that lit up the entire time? Burning, uh, what? <laughs> Wild Lords, that, that sounds awful. Don't play innocent with me, Santino. You both stink like you're in deep, deep shit. Well, you don't think we had anything to do with that, do you? I don't know. But if you do, I will find out. You better know that. I swear, Chief. <laughs> I've had enough of your swearing for a lifetime. Get the fuck out of my sight. Yes, sir. Have a beautiful day, Chief. Don't let me see you again, Santino. Or... I'll try not to be seen, Chief. I'm not your Chief. Get lost. Sorry, boys. I can't let you do that. You know, protocol. You and protocol, Bosco? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. That's the case, boys, like it or not. Stop harassing the witness. Well, what can I do? Sorry, guys. Zip H. Murphy. Do you believe he's really that scared? Or is it just an act? Zip's a good actor, but he's not that good. If Wessler's henchmen are after him, he has good reason to be afraid. You two again. Say, Bosco, what's all this about, uh, Zip? Yeah, if only I knew. This idiot called us on himself. He told us we have to take his statement. And what does he want to confess to? I don't know yet. We still can't get it out of him. But we're taking him down to the hole soon. There, he'll sing like a little bird for us. <laughs> no pun intended. Would you mind if we asked him a few questions before that? You know, just for old time's sake. Sorry, boys, but you know the rules. The rules, right. More like blood boil. <laughs> yeah, more like blood boil. So sorry. Anything about a girl named Deborah Ibanez? You mean the Bambi whose body was found in Natasha Kutsenko's weekend house with huge red letters on her back? Don't call her a Bambi. So you knew her? Just fleetingly. Anyway, I don't even want to know. I don't know much about her. Moses and Plato are on that case. Thanks for the intel, Mon. Anything else worth mentioning? You were at the scene, right? We? Oui. <laughs> of course not. Sonny, you can't lie to me. You just can't. Is this some kind of interrogation? Just leave us alone, Monica. You're an open book for me, Sonny. Remember that. Guess who we had the chance to meet? Madame Zavos, the legend herself. So you're that lonely? I didn't think that was your thing, Sonny, but you know what's best for you. We were there to investigate. Of course. And were you successful? To be honest, they beat us and tried to burn us alive. Inside of a sinking ship. Wow. Busy night, right? Even for you. Yeah. So, uh, what do you know about the madam? Eh, nothing much. She's not had any run-ins with the police recently. Of course. Because half the PD goes to her. Well, I'm not gonna say anything about that. Look, Mon, we suspect Madame Zavos is in cahoots with Ibn Wessler. Any idea why? 
No, but those two mean trouble by themselves. I don't envy you, boys. Seriously? Any ideas? Get out while you can. Right about immediately. Well, you're kind of right. We can't, Mon. We gotta see this through to the end. Famous last words. When did they bring in the trash panda? Not even an hour ago. You're just in time. They haven't taken him into the hole yet. Yeah, I can see. Listen, Mon, uh, would you do us a favor? Can I be honest? Not really. Oh, just a small thing. For old time's sake. Me and my big heart. So, what do you want? Call Bosco over here for some reason, okay? So that we can have a quick talk with Zim. Okay, I guess I can do that. But you owe me one. Well, thank you somehow. I promise. No, no promises this time. Shoes. Shoes? Size 35, high heels, black. Um, yes, ma'am. Good. Hey, Bosco. Yes, ma'am. Come over here for a second. Right away. Bubo doesn't have a high opinion of you, Zip. How do you know him? You see these stitches? His weight. All of them. Ah, I see. My condolences. Eh, he's a good friend of mine. But the word friend is misspelled in his dictionary. So, we were just about to listen to some sweet music when, um... Didn't that damn jukebox break all of a sudden? Oh, damn it. Damn it indeed, Zip. There was a wristband behind it with numbers on it. 9842372 to be exact. What? All that from memory? How the hell? I have no idea either, and it scares me too, but that's not the point. Tell us about it. That is, if you want to leave this place on your feet. Okay, okay. You got me. I'll talk, but only if you promise that the cops won't know about this. Do we look like we're on duty? What do you think about this uh, paper? I've seen better, Sonny Boy, but that's not paper. Do you know what it is? At first glance, it's canvas. A piece of a painting, but it's too small and too blurry to make anything of it. So, still nothing. Well, thanks anyway, Zip. Anytime, boys. Are we done? Have you ever been to the Nile, Zip? Oh, I wish, man. But my kind can't get in there. Why, did you? Right in the madam's room, if you're interested. Oh, so that's why you look like that. Bingo. Did you know that the place has ties to the Wessler Empire? That place has ties to everything and everyone in Clawville, boys. Even to the royal family. I'll bet my tail on it. Zip is a real opportunist. He's trying to turn everything to his advantage. But we're gonna turn the tables. Who did you escape from? And why here, Zip? Why? <laughs> because I like living, that's why. How did you know they were coming for you? I got a tip off from a friend that I should pack my things and go if I want to live. But I had nowhere to run. Yeah, you know me. The hop dog's my everything. So you thought you'd be safe here? Of course. If it's people are everywhere, but uh, eh, maybe it's harder to get rid of me at the PD. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. How did you manage to piss off Ibn Wessler? I don't know, all right? I don't have time for this. Sing like a bird, or I can't guarantee your safety. I did something for him, that's all, okay? A tiny little favor. You know how it goes, Sonny. Animals like Wessler make a living out of these kinds of favors. Tiny little favor, eh? Wessler's kind don't send assassins after someone for tiny little favors. 
You have no idea what's going on in his head nowadays, pal. Fella gone totally insane. What did you have to do for Ibn? I never hurt anyone, all right? Let's make that clear right now. I never said you did. I just had to get rid of a package for the boss. That was the job. Quick, clean, simple, right? Yeah? What kind of package? A very heavy one. Dead bodies are kind of heavy, Zip. How did you know it was a dead body? I didn't. I was bluffing, but uh, thanks for the answer. You lousy chicken. Zip's a secretive little specimen, but knowing his past, it's no surprise. I must take advantage of this and trap him with it. Why you, Zip? Ibn has many loyal henchmen for these kinds of jobs. Because, uh, it's harder to trace back to him, I guess. He chose you, out of the whole city, for this particular job. Why? He needed someone who knows the Hive well. The Hive? So, Roachtown, eh? Why? Because I had to get rid of the package there. You mean, the body? It's starting to get interesting. If they let you out, what do you think will happen? I don't know, okay? And maybe it was a stupid idea coming here, but this was my best stupid idea. Maybe I'll win a few days with it. Or a few hours, more likely. If you help us, maybe we can cover this whole mess up. You mean you can be bought, Sonny? <laughs> what a time to be alive. The unbribable Santino Featherland. I'm suspended, Zip, and I'm talking chicken to raccoon. Oh, I see. You're a foul foul. Why did you keep that wristband? Because it seemed important. And because... you know me. I'm trying to turn every situation to my advantage. That's the way Zip works. How, exactly? Who knows? It seemed important. It just fell out of the body bag, and I thought, look, this shit seems important, so uh, why not? That's why they want to kill you. I have no friggin' way of knowing that. Why don't you ask them, huh? What happened to the body, Zip? I don't know, Sonny. All I had to do was drop it in an abandoned part of the hive. Where starvation's most prevalent, I guess. Where insects fight for their survival, right? I couldn't have found a better way to get rid of a corpse myself. All that fresh meat must have been gone in a matter of minutes. Fuck, I don't know. I didn't stick around to see what happened. Uh, you make me sick, Zip. You would have done exactly the same thing in my situation. Anyone would have. 
I got the order. I did what I had to. I wanted to survive. Yeah, that's even for you. Blackmail. Yeah, something like that. Zip may be secretive, but if he manages to open up, he's also honest. He's not trying to change the subject anymore, so I only have one thing left to do. Ask the right questions. the stiff, Zippy. I swear I don't know, Sonny. You have to believe me. I have a hard time believing you didn't take a little peek into that body bag, Zip. I didn't dare, okay? I knew they'd kill me if I did. It looks like they're gonna kill you anyway. Not if you help me, Sonny. I haven't received enough important information yet, Zip. I'm asking you for the last time. What's with the wristband? I honestly have no idea, Sonny. It simply fell out of the bag when I threw it down in the alley. At first, I wanted to leave it there, but then, uh, well, you know me, huh? And that's the whole story? That's the whole story. At first, I thought it was some kind of, uh, code. But on a wristband, eh, it's usually an ID number instead. Like on prisoners? Exactly. But I know from experience that prisoners don't get bands like this. Not in Clawville. It looks more like something from a hospital. Yeah, maybe you're right, Zip. While we're at it, was it Dr. Bubo who gave you the tip-off to get out of the hot dog? Yeah, it was. Why? Thanks, Zip. You've helped us put some vital pieces into place. Well, that's great. That didn't help me, Sonny. I don't want to rot in here or end up in the alley of the hive. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. You gotta help me. Be glad I'm not charging you as an accomplice to murder here and now. Just keep your head down. Understand? I will, boss bird. I will. That's more like it. So you're telling me you have no idea what this is? It's a wristband. I see the same thing as you. This was the only thing left of the dead body. And me, you know me, they don't call me sticky fingers for nothing. So you just took it. Maybe for some blackmailing? Who knows? Maybe it just hurt my sense of justice. I wanted to know who I buried. You're a real bastard, Zip. A real first grade bastard. Should I say thanks? Thanks. Just lay low, Zip. Real low. Thanks for the advice, Sonny. So, where to next? Where did that wristband come from? I got bad news, Marty. I only know one person who knows about medical stuff. Oh, no. We were just there. Sorry, partner. Bubo again.
Hello, Ursula, dear. Oh, oh, what's the rush? Is there something wrong? 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 That dim-witted, insane, ragged old stinky owl. That's what's wrong. Whoa, whoa. It's all right, Ursula. Just tell us what happened. What happened? You happened. And Wester's goons. It was supposed to be the only day of the year we could have relaxed a little. We're sorry, Ursula. You're right. Like I care, Marty. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the bitter old owl, and I'm tired of waiting. And? Never mind. I'm going. This time, I'm going for good. Hang in there, Ursula. And if there's anything we can do to help... Anything? Of course there is, my dear. I never want to see your faces again. Ouch. I'm going to try to talk to the old owl, all right? <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, and uh, Ursula, thanks for all you've done for us with the car. You know, I'm starting to regret it. That was rough. Yeah, but understandable. I only see Bubo once a year, and <laughs> even that's way too much. A lot of people feel the same about us. Eh, that's true.